Okay. I think we're live. Let's go and check. Yeah, I'm just going to check we're live in the in the group, in the ninja group. Yes, we are. Good. Lovely. Pretty well on time. Just got to remember in about 15 minutes or so, I've got to go turn the fire down. So let me just come back to us. So my name is Brian Knight and I live near Melbourne in Australia. And it had just turned 5.30 in the morning on a Thursday for me. And this Thursday is the 1st of September, which is the start to spring for us. So, um, and I've been here about five and a half years, roughly, in this group. And my role is to host a live session for Ninja Trading System, uh, focusing on bankers, smart money, sniper, whatever you want to call it. And uh, looking for opportunities that people might be able to take for themselves to suit their lifestyle. So let me just... Uh, we we go to here and just a second just share screen here so welcome to this live forex analysis session please note any trades discussed here are to be classed purely as educational only and that is because we're a group of people helping each other and we are not financial advisors so please only take trades you're happy to take based on your own analysis and when I say own analysis, that means it's you. You work out and trust in yourself of what the trade uh, will be, buy, sell or not. Um, also, I always suggest a demo account until you can prove to yourself that you are profitable over a period of time. So always follow proper risk management to protect your account as taught in IM Academy and also here in the Ninja Group as each trade carries risk as well as potential profit. Uh, now, this this uh, strategy only requires 1% of your account um, at any one time on any particular pair. If the recording of this session goes anywhere and you are not already a, an exclusive Ninja member, then please get back to the person who sort of gets you to see this. And as an exclusive member, I, I have access to go live where there are a number of professional traders that trade this strategy and other profitable strategies. There is also a full risk disclosure here and a little bit about us as live session traders. And welcome, Alistair, from being running around Europe, enticing us into this sort of carefree lifestyle that you have, food, wine, you know. Yeah. Frivolity. It's, it's shocking. just no. Well, it's it's full on. Mate. Too much. Too much. Just, too hot. So too much. Good. Too hot. Okay. Well, that says it, it all. Was doesn't good. It? it was good. And so, what about the weather? Hot. Thirty-seven up to thirty-three to thirty-seven. Oh, so it's gee, really warm. Yeah, it's yeah. Warm. Well, just starting to get toasty for us. Anyway, but um. At the moment, I think it's one degree outside for us. Um, really? yeah. The cycling is going through Spain, which is the Vuelta, which is like the Spanish Tour de France. And it was 37 degrees on the on the south coast, 37 cycling in it. I could hardly walk in it, far less cycling in it. Yeah, yeah. But they are, they're slightly less... They're used to it. and Yeah, but they're less wise than you as well. They don't have the experience that you have, so... Like they're a little bit. Yeah. yeah. I hope my internet lasts the night because it doesn't look very good just now. And I, I, there's another fault in the system somewhere. With all so, so, in the time away, have they been yeah. able to rectify your internet? It's looking pretty good. Mm, we'll see. It wasn't playing, it was playing up a bit earlier today. And huh. um, I gave up the ghost with it. On um, again, off again type internet. Okay, really. Yeah. I don't know if it's going to. All right. Swap. I'm on my laptop rather than the Mac. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's a lot better anyway. <laughs> Rightio. Now let's go and have a look at some charts and see what's happened. Um, you might not have seen this uh, yesterday. It, um, 
Rian got us onto this uh, like indicator thing called FX market sessions. And I happened to, I so, no, no, that's all right. And I happened to sort this out yesterday. I was playing around. So I've done Sydney, Tokyo as one block, London as another block, and New York as another block in here. And this tracks the highs and lows in each uh, trading session, if that makes any sense. You can you can have it that it's not, but that this is um, where it's where it's at. Let me just. Tom's come to join the party. Oh gosh. Okay. <laughs> how you, Tom? Good. How are you, Brian? Good. And yes, Cad JPY just kept going then as I had forecast, which is interesting. That's good. Um. So, yeah, I think this is actually quite nice. Um, I just know that basically two hours in this nine o'clock, see how it changed? I don't know if you can, let's, this is on the five minute, it's just so that you can see it easier. So that's that's 6 a.m. UK time, that white line. Don't worry too much about that. But this dashed blue line is uh, about an hour and a half away. And... Um, that's the changeover from New York into Sydney. And you can see Sydney didn't do too much, just sort of built up. And as soon as it hit, uh, that's basically Tokyo there where Tokyo opens. All right. And then it pulled back up after it pushed down and pulled back up, then pushed back down to this point. This is where London opened. You can see that line there. And you can change all these for yourself. I can show you what these times are if you want. Um, and then it pulls up. Now, there's an overlap. I don't think Tokyo, it looks like Tokyo finishes and London starts. Yeah, there isn't, I can't see an overlap and there's no overlap between uh, New York and um, and Sydney either. It's only this London, New York overlap. So if you can see it, look, it just comes down. Oh, I'll just have a look at it. Sydney, it goes New York to there, right? Let's start for a new day. It pushes up. When Tokyo opens, look at that. That becomes a swing high. Poof, it goes down to a low. Then it comes back again, comes back down, and comes back and revisits right there. So the Tokyo low becomes the beginning of London. It came back to there. So I'm not saying it does this every day. I'm just saying, look at the pattern. Then out of London, it pulls up. It was like 50% of that day. It drops back down out, comes to where New York opened. If you look at New York, see that becomes, so we've got lower high, lower high, lower high. Then all of a sudden, it drops back out. Does this sort of dance around in, while well, New York, whatever. And it comes to this lower low and just shoots up. And basically, it comes up to where it was <laughs> at the start of the day, or, or not quite to New York, to uh, Tokyo, and then just drops back out again. Because this here, if you see the push back down and pull back up here, is where London closed and New York opened, and it went into the cell. So what what time is that push up at the, on on the? This one, yeah, yeah. I will change yeah. that to London. That would have been about one o'clock, I'll tell you. Oh, no, it's not. It's 3.30, your time. So no, well, that's if you're in, that's if you're in around near England, Alistair, and not just frivolously yeah, running yeah. around Europe somewhere. Was, this is, well, there you go. So it's, it's uh, 3.35 in the afternoon for you. Bang. And that was a move of 43 pips. Now, it doesn't matter about the move of 43 pips. What it does matter is if you had have seen this hit this low. So it came down to that, pull back. When it pulled back to this thing, so you can actually, let's go back down to the minute, because you would have been tra taking the trade on the minute. That's where I'm would be talking about it. E, 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 e. There, right? Right there. 
And so when it pushed up there and you went, oh, 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 it broke this. Oh, oh, it's pulling back down. And then when it started to take off, that's where you get into the trade for a buy. Say, I don't know, somewhere here. Put your five pips on. Well, you could have put done less, but let's say five. Somewhere there. And then travel it up. That's a 5%. Welcome, Peter. Good to see you. Hi there, Brian. Yeah, this a, oh, I don't know. I've got to wait for the sun for the sun to come up in another whatever, and I'll go and check those two new little lambs. Oh, you got two new ones. Yeah, yesterday afternoon, the one of the ewes was just circling, circling, and up and down, so, and then out come a, out come one, and then the other, the twin came out half hour later. So yeah, you don't um, have to help her then. No, no, she's all fine. Good, good. No, 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 no. Well, in actual fact, we every just before sunset, we actually moved them into a um a big yard with Bunning a high pen. low fence, like a fox proof fence. And so we had to actually pick up the lambs and carry them, put them in the yard for her to to then come in and find them and stuff. So but they were they were together when it when it uh when the sun went down so anyway yeah and all the other ones they're all already kicking along and getting bigger so we'll just see how these ones went overnight like it's down to one degree <laughs> it's like i don't know how how these little things survive when they've only just come out and they're they're laying in one degree temperature one degree celsius anyway that's just you've had plenty of twins then quite a few uh, yeah, out of out of five, I've got four sets of twins now. Unbelievable. Four sets of twins and a and a single. So out of these twins that were born yesterday or birthed yesterday, there was uh, a male and a female. So I think we've got what do we got? We got one more. At the moment, we've got one more female than we have males. Mm. And so it's that uh, six, eight, no, out of nine. So I think we've got, yeah, anyway, whatever it is, must be five females and four males. Right. Anyway, that's that's nothing to do with. So here's a here's a trading potential here for five pips from London time, 4.30, where let's see what Los Angeles for Tom. Where was that, Tom? Oh, 7.30, 8 in the morning, Tom. He's probably going to sleep on us, or he's moving the moving the ute or something. Um, no, I'm listening. Go ahead. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, that that move was seven thirty in the morning for you, and up it went. So New York. Oh yeah. Oh, that's London. Oh no, that's thing. So no, New York doesn't open. It doesn't open at five in the morning, does it? No. Wow. How did I? Hang on a minute. Is that on you? Oh, that's Los Angeles. Sorry, that's right. You're Los Angeles, not New York, aren't you? Um, yes. Yeah. So that's why. Yeah, it's on the other other coast. So yeah, it, it'll be that it starts at five in the morning. Yeah. So if we change that to if we change that to New York. Then that then that becomes when it opens up. It's like eight in the morning. So it's eight in the morning, and this happened at ten thirty in the morning, in at New York time. So here's the here's the day. Whoa, how do I order that? Here's the day on the one minute chart. So in actual fact, there are a lot of possibilities. If you had have got in on this turn here, see that turn there for a sell, which I I did forecast yesterday. I don't know if you, uh, Alistair wasn't here, but he probably watched recording. So after Sydney opened, if you had have got in on this turn here somewhere, right? Let's just do this because it would have been a sell. You get in somewhere in this push down here, we'll push down and pull back up. 
just there. And you could have put, say, a five pip on that. This just kept, I know it went down and came back up and went down and up and all that. But basically, that down there would have been a good 8%. And yes, you would have been over a period of time. So what's that time there? From there down to here somewhere is 13 hours. But if you if you forecast this is going to be into a cell and it continue in the cell, then 14 hours is not such a big issue. Yes, no? Nope. Um, you've got some of your line lines at the bottom. You've not got one right at the right at the bottom of that. No, I don't. No, you're absolutely right. And these green ones are previous um high lows for the 6 a.m. UK time. Yeah. Okay, because you've got one below it, but yeah. Yeah, so that's just so for me, that was like nine in the morning. I could have got in at about 9.20 or whatever and rode it all the way down. Because it, it did come back here and it, it wouldn't have challenged the stop loss. Um, and again, um, Peter, Peter Frank, that's why I, I don't move my stop loss because it come, came back to there and then all of a sudden it worked its way back down. And that would have been like at 10 o'clock at night, I could have said, right, I'm out of here. And then it did that. That could have been my day day of trading in one whole trade. It didn't, but that's okay. And then you got that one there. So can you see what I'm saying yeah, about? The entry looks really good for the stock at five there. You know, you're, you're over never here. Back. Yeah, you're never going back anywhere near it. No. Either. And even here, look at that, like it just general, took right. off. And you, and this is one of the things is like, let's look at this as a, a so in this, you know, push down, pull back up, push down. So what's the trend? That the trend's a buy trend, but what did I say? Like overall, it's a buy trend. But, but if we look, okay, let's go back to the five minutes. So we need to do that. So see that push up? What do we have to do? We have to go sell before we can push back up again. Now, even though this is a buy trend in the higher time frames, in this lower time frame, the 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 the, the cycle or the or the wave has to be that it comes back down to profit. Now, this may be as far as it goes. Okay, it may not because, um, yeah, I won't mention that. That doesn't matter. So. <laughs> So it's pushed from a low here, so it's low over here, all the way up there. That's that's reinforcing that higher time frame uptrend. This pullback here, and it's less like because it's in an uptrend in the higher time frames, it is much less likely to break this low here. It has broken that low there. See that that low there. So when's it going to turn? Let's have a look at the stochastic. And we go, okay, what do we got? We've got from, oh, hang on, I'm going to go back down again. So, so you can see where, they're better. See where that's created that high there, four hour up the top. And then you can see the cycle or the wave or whatever you want to then we'll call it is the four hour pushed itself up. Now the four hours pushed itself back down again. What have we done? Push up, push down. Is the four hour nearly down to the bottom? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Let's see. What I do have here, though, for me is I have a lower low there. And then, oh, I've got a higher low. Yeah. So what could potentially be happening? A reversal. Yes, it's it's now it's done its push up. It's done it's 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 pushed back down to the price it needs, which that would be the low low just there. You see that forceful push up. It's saying this price is too low for this currency. We push it up. It pull back down again. We just got to see what happens when it opens into Sydney, Tokyo, and go from there. So will this pull back down any lower? 
don't know if we see the one hour is still pulling back down we've got a um the 30 minutes coming down um we'll get the we'll get the forecast from tom in a minute he'll be able to tell us what he feels is is going to happen um no he hasn't chimed in yet oh anyway um Oh, there we go. There we go. He's coming. He's coming there. He's coming there. He's coming there. Well, no, I'm just, I'm looking at it like you are. Um, yeah. The only thing I'm adding is the uh, EMAs. Yeah. Okay. Because it's bouncing between the 800 and the 200 right now. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's why yeah, this that's is why the five minutes. Those trades. Yeah. Because it was, it's consolidating. Yeah. Correct. It might consolidate out because we're going to go into the Sydney. Oh, okay. Hang on a minute. Hey, I'm just going to, uh, hang on a second. I'm just going to, what am I going to do? I'm just going to, uh, I just got to go and turn the, 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 the wood heater down. Just a minute. Go, go, go. Just a second. I'll be back. Okay. Now that he's gone, we can talk about him. He's probably, he's probably going to have triplets just there or something. He's going to have what? Triplets. Triplets. Sheep. Yeah, the, bl yeah, the black sock's going to come out on the other foot. Yeah. <laughs> Be a breach. Oh, mom. And uh, don't go there, Alistair. I know all about breaches. <laughs> oh, oh, keep it to yourself, please. Oh. Yeah, well. Oh. My father was a shepherd and used to give my hand when lambing season. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, it's a nice, a nice toasty so it, so 25 degrees out there in the out near the fire. Wow. So um, what I'm saying, Brian, is go to the 15 minute. Yeah, sure, we'll do. We'll do, we'll and do. You can see it's, it's bouncing between the uh, 800 and the yeah. 200 right now. Yeah, so you had, yeah, exactly. Tom, you can see bounce down to the 800, pull away, back down. The, the point I'd like to make, though, which, which Tom is pointing out there quite um, uh, illuminating-wise, see how it's, be, it's come down to try and visit the 800. This is on the 15. It pulled away. It just has to come back to 800, and there is a point at which it needs to, you know, which it's touched it. It may spend some time below it. It doesn't have to. It's come back to visit it. It may go off because it's in that sort of uptrend. Uh, and if we look here at the uh, the stochastics, it hasn't gone oversold. So, you know, maybe it's not ready at the moment. Um, uh, but but the one, of the one of the things I'll say is you can see this lower high there. It has broken this previous high there. So that push up and pull back where it's not, it, it's come back to the 800 and then pulled away. I'm just, you know, seeing it potentially. Look, it could go down a lot further because this, this um, four-hour cycle or wave could actually snake along the bottom for whatever period of time and this go down further. I'm not saying that it won't. What the candles are telling me is it looks like it's sort of exhausted what it needs to do as far as sell, and it's now starting to pull its way back up again. Now, the thing is, if and when it does, it's highly likely that that and this high high will be broken. So we can wait to see when it does, and then we can, you know, look at a forecast for a, a considerable percentage buy on this one. And this may not, may not happen until next week, because you've got to remember, uh, Friday you, Friday morning US time is non-farm payroll this week. So that could be the trigger for it to start to move back up or push it down a bit before it does go back up yeah and remember that the cad will follow this is cad jpy will follow usd jpy so if we go look at usd jpy you can see that's still pushing up it hasn't come back down to the 800 at all in in like from a 15 
it did there and pushed away so it's more likely to come back down so this could also be um a situation with the CAD JPY because that's in consolidation that is this isn't yeah so just watch out for the markers on it that's all we need to do all the you know the patterns okay so that's the that at the moment is Ken JPY to, to see whether we can have potential trade out of this one I I'm really looking for buy out of this and it can and a really nice sort of longer term buy but I'm just I'd be out of it before non-farm payroll if things move in the right direction that's just me okay um, but these you know this move through this week has been as I had sort of predicted or forecast to be into a cell which is done yeah questions about that feedback Um, no, I mean, I'm, I've not been watching them no. lots and lots last week. No, yeah. it's a bit hard with well, all got, stuff in your face with food and wine got, and dance uh, and yeah. Um, shockingly, but you, yeah. you have got the, the, the higher low and then it's got another higher low and it's yeah, it's definitely potentially doing something. Yeah, potentially doing something. I like that. That's a very good term, Elsa. Potentially doing something. Yeah, it'll either go up, down, or sideways. Um, and it could go, it could go because after quite a, a move like this, we could get a bit of consolidation until non farm pie roll. So I'm not, I'm not saying we're going to get a move up or down dramatically. It, it, after a push up and this back down profit, there may be a hiatus or a, you know a big take a breath, get some orders in place here, a little bit of sideways, and then move whatever direction it needs to. Um, all I can say is the candles and where they're moving is indicating to me there is potential for this to now be going in a buy trend, which is consistent with the four hour and the 15 minute. That's all. Yeah. Okay. Now uh, let's look Euro AUD. Well, that did a damn good move too. All right. So if we look, ooh, here we go. We'll come back here again in a, uh, how do I put this? In a session view. God, look at the W. <laughs> the bottom is just like, oh, eh, eh, eh. <laughs> oh my guys, That's incredible. Okay. Quite profound, isn't it? Um so goes into the uh, changes over from New York after push come, you know, moves a little bit of consolidation, pushes up, and then that was 11. So it's, yeah. Well, it was after Tokyo Open, but if you had a looked at this, this cell would have been nice. And just when London opened, it pulled back up, pushed back down. And then off it went. When you got the changeover, there was a little bit of a hiccup in there. And then off it went for New York again. Pull back, profit take, push back up. Um, if there is, this this did go into the sell. That would have been a, a really nice sell into there. If you had, a, even if you had got into the trade there and got knocked out, I would have made sure I got back in again at that point. So for me, this is like 11.30 in the morning. Wow. That would have been good. Did you get uh, Ray's not here? I wonder if Ray got any of this. Um, but that sell out of there. See where that pushed up and then came back down. If you got in somewhere here and tightened up that stop loss, well, yeah, it would have been good. Five. It would have been able to go to five there without any problem. And that down, either to there, whatever. Like 15 percent you know 15 17 even if you only got 10 that would have been a really nice move it moves like 70 pips in what period of time was that four hours yeah 
and then to London Open and that's it. Job's done. And then if you it's want to, another, after they push... It's another one of those two-in-the-morning moves for us. You know, when things are do they? happen. Yeah, that's about, I think that's about two o'clock. Yeah, which is which is just after... Oh, I can find out for you. Hang on. London there. That move was, yeah, two o'clock. You probably wouldn't get in till three, whatever. So... Probably not the move. But then again, you could have got into this move here. Look at that one. Like that was nine, 10 o'clock in the morning. See how pushed up, pull back down again, which is quite typical. It does this in this sort of London session. And if you had it got against the trend, but if you had it got into somewhere here where it pulled back into there and then tighten that up as well, Five pips or so. I mean that. That's a good twenty percent there. Even if you're a little bit, you know, you wanted to put ten pips on it, like that's still eleven percent over how long? From there, somewhere there up to there, that would have been five hours, and it was from eleven thirty till four o'clock, nearly five. Not a problem. Nice. They're here. I'm just showing you. They're here every day. All of these, all these trades are here most days. If it's not in consolidation, and this would have told you, if you push down that push up, it breaks structure well and truly. Even if you got in here and you go like, "Oh, it's going up, great, I'll get in," and you got knocked out, you would wait for that to push back up again. If it pushed back up, and if we look at the here. See it come down to 800. If we look here, you can see where the four hours pushing down, but it's just, it's just one hour that's overriding it and pulls it up. Yeah? The one hour and the 30. Look at those two together. This is a Tomism, isn't it? Is it Tom? I, I was just going to say that, but that was too slow. Yeah. It's the one hour and 15 pulling off the bottom and coming up. That's what you get that push, even though the four hour is cycling down that push up we're going to get after this now after this push up what are we going to get because we already had sorry you're going to get a sell aren't you yeah yeah because yeah, you're good you're good peter so yeah see sell buy consolidation sell buy consolidation yeah, sell just probably sell back down to here somewhere and then back into potentially a buy. Overall, though, higher time frames, your AUD is sell. This, this is how you can sort of forecast, take the trades for you. Um, okay, you're a GBP. Let's look at that. Oh, my gosh. Look at that again. London time down the bottom. Oh. And this is a buy trend. See how it pushed? It's going to now, what's it going to do after this big push up? It's going to come back down. It's going to sell back yeah. down. Yeah. Yeah. So again, if we want to, this was what um, you've know, got on London time. That would have been 10 o'clock in the morning or 11, somewhere around there. Again, if you had a, looked at this one and gone, okay, we'll do a long position on that, pushed up, pulled back, came here, I could see, we'll, we'll look at the sketch in a minute. You could pull that up and say, like, oh, okay, I'm going to be going to be a bit gutless and do 10 pips <laughs> and move up wherever it is. That's like a good 6%. If you, if you take that to a 5 pip, you can see where it changes. It's like 13 and you wouldn't have been in the trade for that long either so from here to there was five hours 64 pips thank you very much and if you look here you look here what do we got 30 minute and the one hour pulling back up Yeah. Oh, 
Well, Rianne's here. Did anybody see Rianne's post? Hello. How are you, Rianne? I'm no, good, thanks. What was Rianne's post? Oh, go and have a look at it. It's in the Ninja Group. I haven't posted the other one yet. No, I know you haven't. Results. That's okay. Um, that was another 132. Um, what, percent or pips? Uh, well, that was pips. Yeah. Um, but on on the account we were talking about the other day, yeah. um, I'm up 100% in three days. There you go. On, on just on that gaps and early morning session yeah 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 you don't want to tell them too much yet just just no take, no no just just, just, just snips <laughs> yeah yeah this yeah keep it easy keep it easy we'll we'll do a video and show them the whole process or you yeah. can do a video it doesn't matter it doesn't have to be me yeah no, we'll do something yeah so this is um yeah and i've so Rian, I uh, thank you for giving us that sort of indicator on this trading view. I think it's quite nice to to track those high lows out of each one of those trading sessions. Um, very good. Have you played with that now? Because I yes. haven't had time to look at that yet. Yes, um, yes, yes. What I've I got it all set this. up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Did you manage to get all the sessions in, or no? You, you, you can't get you can't get sessions. Sydney on its own. It, it, the the, the okay. App, the, the the indicator only has three session times so it doesn't okay. matter to me i've got sydney tokyo together and then london then yeah. new york and the sydney tokyo one i know that at the moment 9 a.m for me so it's uh two hours into this sydney tokyo tokyo yeah. begins yeah okay so i just know that a couple of hours in that you know i can put a line i don't need to but that that is that is um and you got it labeled as well now so it's easy to yeah. identify sydney tokyo london new york yep yeah and it tracks the swing high swing lows in each one of the it sessions does. yeah i noted it, it grows through the day yeah as the session goes on yeah it comes up narrow so if it jump when it jumps across into sydney tokyo it'll only be a little narrow band and then as the price goes up and down it actually widens yeah yeah so no it's good thank you I mean, the other one, that's this very was, useful. this one was pretty basic, but you know, like, Hey, that's okay. Yeah. I didn't quite like that one myself. It was just, <laughs> you know, charts are already so busy and it's, I know, I know. Yeah. No, this it's is quite nice. Yeah. Going. Um, the other point I'd like to make here is that if you can, if you see this, uh, dashed line here, it basically came down to this dashed line, which, which on your GBP is a previous high low that I've marked off anyway. It's probably back here somewhere. Let's have a look at on the alley. Where is it? You know, it's where are we here? It's way back, way back. Oh God, where did I put it on? This just shows you. This was put on. Oh God back over with price currently price is there oh god no that's not it that's not where i put it on oh yeah i must have the window it's the window. just there it's that swing high there that i put on that basically has where the price is here you can see that that line there was from way back over there get back to five i'll show you yeah see that line there that's from a way previous see how it just pushed up past it came back revisited it and then took off again if you're not putting some of these swing high swing low previous is on um these are targets obviously prices that that these individual currencies really like so you can see where this has been pushing up see how i've got this is a a green like on the five minutes it's like push up pull back push up pull back push up pull back push up what's it going to do it's going to do a little pullback and then it's another push up potentially 
and where we're at is, I don't know, it might be longer. See the four hours starting to pull back down here? We've got a one hour. Oh, oh, hang on, let's go out. Got a one hour and a 30 at the top. Uh oh. Oh, what does that mean? And like nothing's coming down it's here. Gonna it's going to sell. Maybe it's getting ready for non farm payroll. I don't know. Maybe it's some consolidation first. Maybe. Well, it is sort of going a little climb. See how it went up and then it's go across, come back to the same point. Yeah. Anyway, that's that one. Well, you know, let's go have a look at uh, NZDK. Another one we look at. Uh, that's messy. Okay. That really didn't do too much, did it? Well, it probably doesn't look too much, but after that big push up, well, look at all this sort of crazy consolidation. Probably, oh, 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 oh. See how it did? Big sell. Now pull back up to here, matched up the high. Then it's just gone into consolidation. What are we looking at? We're looking at that four hour and stuff. All the one hours come back up. I think it'll push up a bit. I think it'll dance around in here for a while before we get a sell out. And it is in a overall sell trend in the high time frame. So just wait for this one for a, for the uh, the issue at the moment is see how it's creating low low high low, so and a high. This is a lower high. So is it re is it now going to break this? Um, this high low there will it break down and come past? Because so let me explain. It's below the eight hundred here. It's above the eight hundred here. I'd expect it to come down below the eight hundred at some unless, point. Unless the bankers force it one way or the other. Well, they will, but they but also too they want to keep it in some sort of equilibrium as well. And you can see where the four hours pull back. Say so up, back down, back up. It's highly likely down. So it is a sell trend. So if you look here, that's your high. It basically has come back into the zone and it's consolidating. My forecast is it's highly likely that this will just drop back down again. After that drop, pull back up, consolidation, drop back out. Because if we look at, you know, let's go to the 15. You can see that's what it's been doing. Drop, pull back, 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 <laughs> drop. <laughs> Highly likely. The only thing that I would say is if we look ooh, 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 over here, you can see where it's come down to these points here before it pushed back up. It has gone past those. So we've just got to, if we're going to take a trade, we've got to look at what it is on the, you know, one minute and see. You still, there's still potential trades in there. It's just, I don't like this. I don't like the, the fact that at the slightly higher time frame, see this? That's not nice. I want to see a breakout. I want to see a breakout, pull back, and then get into it for the sell. Okay, that's NCAD. I mean, it doesn't mean you can't get, you know, percentage of gains in there. You absolutely can. So USD CHF. Uh, oh, my gosh. Start a London Open, like consolidation, consolidation, consolidation. Boof, London Opens. Right? It's so obvious, isn't it? London opens, poof, up to a high. New York opens, pulls back down. And after a push up like that, what's it got to do? Pull back down again. Yeah, and it's a green, so it's in a buy trend. So did it break this low over here? No, made that low and then took off again. How many fish do you need in the barrel just to shoot? Like, it's just. 
my shooting fish in a barrel, isn't it? So here's the low to the high back down again and the revisit. That would have been a nice entry on this one here. If you're unsure that that broke when it came down there and it pulled back up, which it was going to do, that's the that's the trade. And if you didn't get that one, then this is the this is the sell. But even though it is a buy trend, but you know, pull back to there, get in, tighten up the stop loss. You could have you could have less than five on this, but anyway. And then travel it back down. 12%. Probably not as good as Rianne that, you know, 100% in three days. But, you know, like, hey, we're not here as, uh, we're not here to compete. We're here to learn and share. How have we go? Have you got your, se your sessions? Have you got your settings for the the market sessions is there anything specific for it or not no no so Just if as i it, as it comes out uh okay. no i had to change it so I'll, if you go to fx market sessions i'll show you what i did so um you set your time zone let, let me just take a pic i've lost my phone uh go go i'll do the recording yeah go ahead yeah. you don't have to it, it's really simple you don't have to take your part i'll show you you okay. just go to the settings of it you set your, what your GMT is, right? And then basically you put a label in there. You don't have to change the colours. You just have session one, two, and three, right? So I've got uh, Sydney, Tokyo, session one. And for me, it's like 7 a.m. to 5 in the afternoon, the total thing, right? And because I'm at that time, it sets it up. Then the next one's London is 17 to 2, 2 a.m., and then I've got New York is uh, 22 to 7 a.m. I mean, I can, you can change all these if you want. Um, but I just use these uh, just to, for, the, for the box. And then the, the candles uh, hide the display on it. Um, and this is what sort of it comes out with, yeah? I just got to show labels, show the name. I can show like day price, future if I want, but yet, I haven't done any of that. Uh, and you can do oscillators on it. Alerts, you can have alerts as well. The start and the end of sessions, it can actually alert you. Opening range breakouts, you can get an alert or alert for when price cross the session high or low after the session closed. you got all of those things in there. And style's nothing. That's just, you can leave that, tick all those things. Yeah. So it depends on... So for you, if I go, for you, uh, the people in the UK, it would be uh, Sydney, Sydney, Tokyo would be from 22 to 8, London from 8 a.m. to 17, is it? 17, five, yeah. Yeah, 5 o'clock. And then you've got New York would be 13, so 1 o'clock in the afternoon to... It must be, oh, sorry, yeah, it'll be 22. 10 o'clock. Yeah. And then that's that's just the setup. And then you just got your labels and stuff, and then it just does what you can see. We could fine-tune this more, but that's the basic sort of setup for it. Yeah. How's that looking? Yeah, it's good. Okay, uh, then I haven't looked at Bitcoin for a little while. I don't know where it's sitting. Rian can probably tell us. Hey, have you heard anything about a, a merger with Ethereum? No, merger of what? It's just down to 20K, yeah. It's another company. Uh, I guess it's another coin and it's going to merge with Ethereum. Oh, no, no, I don't know. Okay. Don't know. Haven't heard that. Well, you've got your ear to the ground more than I have, Tom. I don't tend to, I just, yeah, I just tend to either trade Bitcoin or Ethereum. That's all traded either up or down. So we'll see. Let's look what they're saying at the moment. Ooh. 
Oh gosh, look how messy that is. You see, this is the issue I have. What well, this? It's a bit unpredictable moment, but this is the this is what Swipe Coin is saying at that point. They put this in and say, okay, if it comes down and breaks and closes below it, it's going into a cell, right? The the problem, well, well what where it's called it, it's come up, it's come back, visit, and then shot off again. So you would never, it's never, it hasn't closed, it hasn't had a full candle close below this line, so you wouldn't be in this trade. So this was only called 21 minutes ago. That's a bit weird because of candles. Mm, so these, well, these candles are 15 minute candles. It was saying it was only called 21 minutes ago. Maybe it's this one, five hours. Anyway, just something that you would watch. I just get alerts on the phone anyway. Just come and have a look. But that's that's well, something. Is you that have what to that arrow is for? Ah, uh, maybe. Maybe that's the extra one, that's that 21 on the, minute. On the candle. Yeah. yeah. But this this call here is five hours. That's five hours ago, that call there. But this is this is where the arrow is. Hmm. Maybe it's the arrow is that call. Oh, it is. And see this one here. Yeah, 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 yeah. See that see the red bit next to it is saying this is going for a cell, right? And that blue thing is that blue arrow having it pushing up past. Yeah, that makes sense. And then you got that there. Yeah, so you got that and that. See those there are about the same, which is there and there for those two arrows there. Yeah, you're right, Tom. That's what that'll be. That'll be for that blue arrow as an update. Anyway, so that's that's your lot i think have you got questions you ready to get some percentages be careful of non-farm payroll can't believe august's finished sorry i can't believe august is finished oh august is finished. yeah 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 well you you're still in august I, i've actually got september i'm i'm in oh. september already oh. happy september yeah Pin, thank pinch you and a, pinch and a punch and all that yeah, 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 yeah. But do you, um, do you have that in Australia? Uh, yeah, some people might do that, but some idiots do it. Okay. Well, some people might do it. Yeah, I don't tend to get there with that one. See, I've got daughters, so they'd be calling that some dad joke, and it's just no, nah, it'd be it'd fall on deaf ears. See, so you're yeah, now in the spring, then, Brian. Yes, now. And you know things are moving. Dam, the dam's nearly full. Getting ready to go into that, so we're getting some more sunny days. Yesterday was absolutely glorious. It was just not one puff of cloud in the sky in the morning. It was just absolutely clear, which made that's what made a cold night. So I think into September now, it's uh, we may get some more frosts. We'll see, um, but you know. Um, colder weather because I the um, I got a whole lot of fruit trees that I planted last year and the year before, so we're going to start to hopefully see a lot of blossoms. The um, the almond trees already blossomed up. Um, I've got to get some posts in for all the grapevines that I put in this year and had last year. Um, and there's pears and apples and nectarines and cherries and apricot and peach and blueberry and we've got a whole sort of orchard happening train, so, our train went through our train went through santa million yesterday st st stopped at the station for a second and uh moseyed on but the uh yeah the the, the vines in that area look amazing mm. Mm. All right. Well, if there's no other if there's no other questions, we should be focusing on getting some more potential trades with, with this. Now, again, I haven't found out from Paul. He was running around yesterday, I think. I haven't found out from Paul when we might get access to the um to the uh TV ones, but you know, like all of those indicators are in there if you 
have used it. Um, it'd be nice when we probably all, maybe when we all get access to it, we can utilize it on this as well. And um, yeah, and Rihanna, if you want to reach out and we do a video with what you're doing, then just tell us. Okay. So, oh, Ryan, um, yeah. when was that you were saying? Well, when would you? It's up to you. You just message me and see how you go. <clears throat> okay. Well, let me see how tomorrow goes as well, because I think sure. it'd be good if we can finish out this week. Yeah. Um, and then because then you got a history of it, go back over it. Yeah. And yeah, just schedule it all. Good. Uh, well, or just draw down the schedule from the platform and then. Yeah, put it into yeah. a simpler Excel maybe or something, and then we can schedule it with more figures and percentages and things. You know, worries. If you want to do it on the weekend. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Yell out. Yeah. All right, then. No worries. All right. If there's no other questions, anyone, take it easy and um, keep grabbing some of those pips if you can. It's up to Thank you. you everybody. Try. Thanks, yeah. everybody. Thanks, everybody. Thank Thank you. No worries. Yeah. All right, then. Now, if anybody finds anything, you know, useful in, in any of this, just put something in under the live if you want to, or if you watch the recording, that'd be great to know too. Um, and I'll see you tomorrow, same time, same channel. We'll see how we go. All right, then. Ciao.